Welcome to Frank Capital's commentary for February. We're going to be looking at Meta Platforms, which is formerly known as Facebook. Before we dive into Facebook's earnings, first let's take a step back and look at the Fed and their effect on growth stocks. Then we'll go into earnings, take a look at Reality Labs, Facebook's new Metaverse division, and finally we'll look at the income declines happening at Facebook. Thanks to a lengthy cycle of zero interest rates and lots of quantitative easing, the Fed got exactly what it wanted, asset price inflation. Unfortunately, other things are going up in price as well, like energy and groceries. So now the Federal Reserve needs to embark on an interest raising environment here. The market is starting to price in these interest rate rises, with the two-year Treasury going from a yield of 0.3% in September to over 1.17% at the end of January 2022. This has a large effect on growth stocks because many growth stocks are unprofitable and as you can see by this cloud computing ETF, it has had a very negative effect on the stock prices. By raising interest rates, the Federal Reserve is allowing investors to make money risk-free. Waiting for growth stocks to take money might take an awful long time and now there's an opportunity cost because you can make money in the treasury market. This has had a large effect on tech stocks, but also the opposite effect on energy stocks. Energy stocks are among the cheapest in the market with immediate cash flow and no long buildouts for profitability. So as you can see in this chart, energy stocks are going up while tech stocks are going down. How is this affecting Facebook? Well, the US stock market is losing a lot of patience here in February because Meta Labs is starting to burn more money. Investors are losing patience with this earnings report because as you can see, Reality Labs lost more than double from 2019 to 2021. Worse off, if you look at the total company profits in December 2020, they were 12.7 billion. They've actually decreased to 12.5 billion here. Mark Zuckerberg retains over 50% of the voting power and he's going down this rabbit hole whether investors like it or not. And clearly, they don't seem to like it right now. Even more disturbing to many investors is the growth forecast coming out of Facebook. Analysts are expecting the top line to grow 18% here in 2022, but the first quarter guidance from Facebook's management was 3 to 11% growth. Furthermore, the metaverse spending is not going to stop. CapEx guidance was 29 to $34 billion, which is a tremendous amount of money for almost any other company. And in 2021, CapEx was 18 billion. So the spending is still going, but the top line revenue is slowing down. Thanks for joining us. Fundamentals look like they're starting to matter again, but remember to do your own research.